It's raining Endermen. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we are in the end! Ah! And there's Endermen. Lots of them, and they're falling from the sky. Oops. One too many, hello. Ah, yes! So the Enderman farm is working just fine. Uh, I, uh, I pick up extra Ender Pearls from it, which is uh, unfortunate because I don't really need that many ender pearls. You'll see what I mean. So I finished off the whole little area here. I put some glass privacy screen up so I don't upset the endermen who are just going to fall to their death. Uh, the endermen, it was possible to aggro them from up here and they then they would come up and, and kick you around. And I fell off the walkway once. Fortunately, I had my Elytra on so I was able to fly away. So that was good. Um, but it's amazing. You can still hear them from all the way up here. Uh, and, you know, remember, I moved the item elevator over to the side there, specifically so I wouldn't have to listen to the ticking. Uh, but the Endermen, uh, their noise goes a long way. So I put in a uh, shulker box loader up here. It should look super familiar. And dumps into a chest here. And this farm is, like, crazy productive. I have another box here because... I don't know if it's the case here, but I end up with, uh, I f not forgot, I knew it was going to be a, a thing. Oh, hello. Just load another one then. Um, I knew it was going to be an issue, and I still have to work out the way around it. But the uh, Enderman skulls, I have to figure out how to, uh, how to filter them out. Oops, I need, I need, whoa, stop, come back here, come back, come back, come back. Uh, so I need to figure out a good, compact, inline way of filtering out Enderman skulls, because uh, I, I want them, but I don't, uh, pop. Uh, I, I want them, but if one gets into the, uh, the, oh, I thought I saw magma cream over there, which is going to be really weird. Uh, if one gets into the, uh, the shulker boxes being loaded, the comparator until that stack fills up completely with enderman skulls which is will take a while uh it won't this comparator won't read full and it won't eject the the shulker box and then all the hoppers get clogged up with uh ender uh, pearls and if they all get clogged up with ender pearls then they'll end up at the top of the elevator and just sitting there and they will start despawning which is a little frustrating but anyway this is all teleportation proof it probably doesn't need to be the way this way up here but i made a little chest here for storing the skulls i have gotten a couple skulls out of it and vex fx got one himself it's pretty cool and then these are the uh the shulker boxes and i need to check yeah we're uh i'm blowing through these shulker boxes i need more um so and i don't have yeah, so I'll, I'll have to go over here and kill some more shulkers, get their precious shells. I have plenty at home. I can make another stack of shulker boxes or something like that. And having the, uh, having the cactus farm is helpful for making the dye to make them all green. Pretty cool. I'm happy. Um, I have this, this is more shulker shells full of ender pearls there's more ender pearls here than i think anyone will ever use on the server so yeah i think we're i think my job is done here we could shut the whole thing down uh but clicky's still alive and well down there and the endermen are still doing their thing and they do eventually they all clog down there at the bottom and they will eventually i think mob cramming starts happening and they start dying so uh, it will start collecting ender pearls all on its own, but going down there, it's a pretty good source of XP. And so, if you need to repair like one or two things, this isn't a bad place to go. 
it's a little bit far out of the way compared to the gold farm but you know if you happen to be in the area this is pretty good and if you kill enough of them you start getting mob heads which is kind of cool okay speaking of the cactus farm oh so out here in the uh, the desert ink sacks we've got plenty of ink sacks going it's the farm when nobody else is on this this moves like crazy it's it's a pretty impressive thing uh and that oh i thought i saw a, a too tall cactus which is not indeed the case good so cactus farm okay it's it's going but remember how i talked about enderman skulls clogging up the works well, especially when no one else is on, we get squiddies spawning in the water here. And eventually they die. And I'm not quite sure. I, I think they're spawning in this spot here where it's technically two blocks tall of water. I think that's what they need. And that's that was the assumption on which I built the squid farm. So this is like a miniature squid farm. And I got little squiddies all over the place here. Pop. Oh, see, he just died. Now, there's probably an ink sack sitting down at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, I don't think that's the normal way in which they die, but... Yeah, so I've got I got a couple squids on this layer, and they just keep... They just keep spawning. But they do occasionally die, and their ink sacks end up in the system, and... And they end up in the shulker boxes. So I'm having to come in here and periodically clean them out. Oh look, six ink, six ink sacks. And the rest of this is full. That means, in all likelihood, oh, put the shulker box down here, please. Um, so if I come up over here, I bet ya. Yep, I got cactus lined up waiting to go into the shulker box. That's a, not too bad. But I only have two hoppers here. And so the cactus if these both fill up the, the cactus will sit on this top of this hopper here and they'll despawn so we put this in here and when that first stack of cactus goes it will that one will be full and it will load another so hmm these are green so are the ender pearl boxes interesting okay anyway so this is working and i've got plenty of clack cactus and um plenty of black ink so i'm thinking and we have uh we get bone meal out of the the mob farms one at my little village and vexfx built that little flower farm so that's all fine and dandy. Hi, Mr. Miffles, how are you? Are you going to look at me? I don't have fish, but are you going to look at me? I guess not. Uh, so... Meow. So, yeah. Um, so I've got green dye, black dye. we got white there, and then we have the red and, and yellow out of the flower farm. Blue... Lapis, you kind of have to, you kind of have to mine that, uh, and then green, blue, um, yeah. So I don't think I can auto farm any other of the colors. I don't think, but I would like to put more farms in here. So I think I'm going to start over here, and I think I'm going to put in. Um, there we go so if I put in here hi mr. squid and this is the this is the chunk right here and of course I have that ravine below me here so it's gonna be a lot of fun to dig out but hey oh man oh let's put down some torches Hey, I said torch, 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 torch. But then you go back there. Pop. So I think I'm going to start doing this, and I'm going to figure out what to put in here. I'm thinking, 
I might do sugarcane. Uh, sugarcane is a fairly helpful thing to have an auto source of uh, for trading with villagers. Not that I have villagers here, although maybe I could try to rehab that. Can't do a breeder because I don't have sky axes, but. Um, but if I if I make a cactus well not a cactus farm a sugarcane farm that auto loads into shulker boxes just like these over here um, I could easily pull plenty of sugarcane back over to the base so I need to get some uh, sea lanterns and align this let's go let's go do that Welcome back to the Guardian Farm. It's going gangbusters because no one else is on. Pretty cool. Um, item elevator doing its thing. I've got... I'm still waiting for some stuff to come out. Uh, stuff that was dropped in there. VexFX spent some time out here building up a platform so that the guardians would not exactly die. I have this this platform at about just the right height to kill them. I could go up a couple blocks and put in a killing floor and put in a minecart collection system if I wanted. But as I said before, this works just fine. Uh, it does it, it does cause a little lag, but you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Because the only time anyone's out here is when they're at the farm. And I have... Sea lanterns galore. I've got lots of stuff, and let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, see, we've got prism and crystals, so we can go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And I love the new crafting system because all I need are eight of these. Need to find where the last one is. It's in this, I think it's in here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two. Oh, I have extra blocks. Okay, that's fine. That's just fine. Because pop. Now I need two more. Yeah. There we go. One, two. So now I have two stacks of sea lanterns. And I need to come back out. Oh, and this thing generates ink sacks too. Occasionally... There are squiddies in there, and they die because they, they spawn up there and they fall down. But there's lots of water around for the squids to spawn, so they don't spawn up in here too much. This works so freaking well. I'm so happy with this. When no one else is on, this just, as you can see, it just rains guardians. They don't spend very long in the cells because there's just not that much room for them to stay up there. And so they just keep spawning back in behind them. It just It works so well. As you can see, I've only ever activated half of it, or a little more than half of it. Um, and I'm not sure I'm ever going to do this half, because I'm not sure it's necessary. Anyway, that's that. Now I have some, uh, some sea lanterns. You know, while I'm here, I'll craft some more. So I should get rid of this stuff. I have a chest in here with junk. So, uh, yeah. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. Uh, sorry about the air conditioner. It's September 6th, I think. We're, we're in the first week of September. And it's still, it got up to over 90 degrees today in Burbank. Um, <clears throat> and it's kind of gross because... Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, because the combination of the heat and it's been a little bit muggy, which has helped with the fire. You may have seen on the news that there's a big wildfire in Burbank last week. It's still burning. Uh, fortunately, they've they've got largely it under control, but it still smells like smoke. And I work in Burbank, and on my drive home, I can see where the fire was. I, it's not burning that way anymore, but it was, it was burning like when I was driving home the night, 
what was that Thursday night Friday night when the fire the first night that the fire just completely flared up it was it was bad and it was uh, and the traffic was really bad and <laughs> because everyone was like oh my gosh there's fires over on those hills and those hills there's a bunch of people living on those hills. There's mount there's houses on both sides of that mountain that was was burning and it jumped across the freeway uh the freeway just to the I think of it as north but I think it's actually technically to the east of where I could see the fire. It jumped across that freeway and yeah, so it was it was bad. It, there's fire planes and helicopters flying all over the place. I have a friend who... Uh oh What happened? I didn't pick up enough stuff. Uh, I have a friend who was getting some great pictures. But he was getting great pictures because they were flying over his house. And he had to evacuate. It was... And, and I have other friends in the evacuation area. It's, pretty crazy we you know Los Angeles it's dry we don't get enough rain and um, there we go oh that'll work uh, we don't you know we don't get a lot of rain we're almost not quite a desert which is not not good so things get really dry in between rainy season we haven't had any substantial rain in a while so it was just kind of it was just kind of bad so anyway uh so that fortunately appears to be for the most part under control so that's good uh because it was it was getting pretty scary and we get wildfires in in southern california it's just kind of part of the natural cycle of things but gosh it was not uh it was not pretty uh, and of course, so my sinuses are driving me nuts as a result, and um, not allergies to the fire per se, but just, you know, there's all kinds of particulate smoke ash and whatnot in the air, and it gets all over the cars, and it's just, ugh, it's a mess. So, I'm a little stuffed up, and as I said, although we got a little bit of, of rain fluke rain over the weekend which was nice it helped with the temperatures a bit it was over 90 degrees in Burbank today on top of all that so insult to injury um, it was just it was it's still stinking hot it's really bad so I get home and it's still you know it's still 80 plus degrees outside Fahrenheit of course don't worry I'm not my blood is not boiling uh, but yeah, it's it's still crazy crazy hot outside. So we uh, I've got the air conditioner on, and I'm not going to turn it off because I'm even with the AC on, I'm kind of sitting here sweating. So it's unpleasant. I look forward to when it doesn't have to be on, and then I can get to apologize about having the heater because Chihuahua Power G is not going to be real happy with me turning off the heater in the middle of winter, even though it doesn't get that cold in Los Angeles. Um, it gets cold enough that you can you know sort of feel it um come on pick up thank you there we go pick you up uh that it will be she'll complain but that's okay i'd rather have that i'd rather be a little bit chilly I and mean, you can put on a, a hoodie or a sweater then it'd be crazy hot like this because it's the ac is expensive and it's noisy and it consumes resources it's not it's not great but I'm glad we have it and so are the dogs anyway I think that's uh, I think that's plenty let me grab some of these and let's go back hi slime it's like a game pow ha <laughs> there we go Chunk outlined. Very nice. So anyway, this is uh, going to be a bit of work. It's going to be tedious. And there's that ravine down there. And those squiddies. And I should do something about the ground in between these. 
get rid of all the extra gravel and stuff. Uh, anyway, so that's, uh, that's what I'm working on. It's going to take a while, so I'm not going to I'm gonna sit here and show all of it. Wait, what are you doing here? I don't need you. Wait, what? I don't need you. Okay. And I don't know what design I'm going to use for this. I'm, just, I'm, I'm assuming that I'm going to do a sugarcane farm. But I'm going to think about other things. Since I already have multiple sugarcane farms. Uh, annual and automatic. But certainly I have, if I build a... this, If I dig out this entire chunk all the way down to bedrock. And build in one monster sugarcane farm from there. From experience, that will fill up chests pretty quickly, and I'll have plenty of sugar cane, thus all the sugar and or paper that you could possibly want. And uh, it's good for trading with villagers. The, the sugar is good for brewing potions, although I don't brew, brew speed potions all that much, but you know, they're helpful sometimes. Especially when you're doing stuff like this. But. It'd be nice to have hay speaking in here too. But. I don't. I'd have to punch a hole in the ceiling. In the, in the pyramid to. Make that happen. I suppose it might be worth it. Just. Seems like an awful pain in the butt. I got an efficiency 5 pick. So it should, it'll go reasonably quickly. And it's only one chunk until I build another farm over there. So, that's it. I think that's all to show you. It's the only thing I'm working on right now. It'll be pretty good. I have to figure out the right design here to, to fit this inside one chunk because I like, the, I like this challenge of making a single chunk farm that does something. Um, and having the constraints of making it fit inside a chunk. I think it's pretty cool. Hey, squid, get out of there. Cool. Oh, see, this should have gone already. Let's check that. There we are. We got four shulker boxes filled with cactus. Pretty good. All right, I think that's it. Um, I, will st I will work on this in my off time. It's the kind of thing people would do when, when streaming, but I don't have the internet to, to stream, really, unfortunately. So, not uh, not necessarily an option, but I need to fix the internet here so I can stream, because I have ideas for it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I've said bye several times now, or I've tried to, but I think that's it. Um, this is Theron, it's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.